Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Paul Nash. What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? What we gotta watch? Yeah, buddy, that's right. Get exposure right now. Holla at the homie Paul Mash, man, for Paul Mash TV. Hit up Paul Mash TV across all social media sites, alright? Who we got next? Got next. Got next. Got next. Got next. Well, hello everybody. It's Paul Mash TV time once again. We're glad that you could join us, and um, we'll be getting a lot of great feedback, and um, we appreciate that. And we hope that you'll continue to do so. And uh, for those of you uh, to remind you, uh, we're on uh, Roku every seventh, every Wednesday at seven thirty p.m. Central on the Grind City Network. And if you don't have Roku, go to uh, GrindCity.biz. Watch us online. You can even download the Grind City TV app on your phone uh, from Google Play. So I hope you do that for us. And if you're watching this right now on YouTube, just uh, hit subscribe and click the bell. And anytime we get a new interview for you, uh, you'll be notified. Well, you can check that out. We hope you do that. And check out the comment section uh, because uh, we have links to our caps and t-shirts. And I hope you'll take advantage of that. And feel free to leave a comment of your own. And... Uh, you can email us, palmashtv, all one word at gmail.com, which is not just for fans. If you're a band or solo artist wanting to be on the show, uh, you know, just email us on that same email address and we'll see what we can work out. And uh, don't forget about Facebook. It's facebook.com forward slash palmashtv. Uh, feel free to like the page and inbox us with anything you want to talk about and comment on everything you see. We'd appreciate that as well. And we have an official web address as well, and all that will be recapped for you at the end of the show uh, during the closing credits, so stay tuned for that. Right now, for a second time on our show, we have Bernard Vanspall. He's from India, and uh, he was on our show a couple of years ago, and now he's updating us on some things, so uh, we'll get to that in just a moment. But first, here's a quick word from Click Jam. Don't go away. <laughs> We got history. Got me feeling the nostalgia when you look at me. Thinking about what could. Okay, it's interview time again, and from India we have for the second time on our show Bernard Vanspall, and we appreciate you coming back, Bernard. Thank you, Paul. Yeah, it was. Uh, I think it was about a couple of years ago. I think you were on our show, and we enjoyed it. So, um, so why don't you tell us a little bit about what's been going on since you were on the show last time? Yeah, as I just told you that last year, I came there in 2018. I came to Nashville uh, uh, two times and I was uh, in Dollywood in the month of September 2018. But then again in 2019, I, I, I in 2018 I was doing my law exams, criminal law exams. I mean my course. And then I came in and I said to myself, let me finish this. And 2019, I shelved my uh, music career and uh, finished my uh, criminal law with uh, distinctions. And I'm proud to tell you that not only I'm a country singer, I'm also a paralegal criminal law uh, practitioner because uh, I've got my license to practice in the United Kingdom and um, I'm proud of this achievement and uh, the last two years have been very 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 hectic for me and uh, so right now uh, you should say think that uh, I am a bit quiet now because I kept 2020 to uh, get to my uh, uh, music back again and get into the billboard so, but this, unfortunately, the uh, coronavirus had come in and uh, the world has come to stop. So I'm waiting for the airlines to uh, start back again. So 
I fly back to UK with, I think, a few days time now. And I've been quiet. I've been in India for four months, just relaxing. And uh, I came actually to see my brother and uh, and uh, unfortunately got stuck there. But then anyhow, uh, it can't be helped. And I'm waiting, I'm hitching, actually. My full uh, self is hitching to get back uh, to the one thing that I love in life, and that's music. And country music is my passion, as you know, Paul. And uh, the world will soon know about uh, the passion that I have to do. So that has been, in a nutshell, uh, my last two years been writing a lot of songs and um, at this time I am in to come into Nashville for a month, stay in Nashville for a month and uh, I'm looking for the, uh, the you know, the top, top of the range studios where I can get it. Uh, this time I need to nail it. I've got to nail it. I can't fail this time, so I got to nail it, and uh, with the grace of God, I will nail it. And uh, uh, this time when I come into Nashville, I'll be there for a month, and uh, I need to see your top of the range, a real professional studio. And uh, this time I've got to nail it. Uh, I know I have it in myself to nail it. I've been writing some fantastic songs now. so. Let us see, I've got to get a nice music director, sit down with him in Nashville and write the score for this music and get the... Well, musicians, all the musicians mostly are very good in Nashville. I know some of them are the musicians. So let us see how it goes. And uh, in fact, uh, I uh, would like, uh, you know, to pursue this now this year, if God permits, and see that I go into the billboards. That is my last desire. And uh, I have accomplished most of the things in my life. And uh, this is one that is uh, not yet accomplished, but by the grace of God, hopefully I would do it. So I hope when I come to Nashville, I meet you, Paul, and uh, we have a drink of beer together. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, it looks like you've been doing quite a bit in the last couple of years, so that's uh, that's pretty good. Um, I don't know if, uh, because of the whole COVID-19 thing, I don't know if you've been performing much, but if you have been doing some of that, uh, maybe you could let us know there. No, Paul, no. For the last four months, I've been just quiet, and even on Facebook, you can see a lot of musicians uh, taking part in this and that. And I've just... Uh, Kept myself away from it because I uh, I feel that this is the time for me to rest, rest my work with God and and you know uh, kind of uh, get everything together and then once I come into Nashville, give the music producer because I understand music very well. Uh, in I I've been teaching music in, in the Gulf for about eighteen years. So I understand what's the concept of music. And one, one uh, wish I have uh, is to get a nice orchestra backing me uh, in uh, one of the country songs. Hopefully, yes, because you've got a lot of orchestras in England who will do it for you. So let us see, I can do it in England and bring the uh flip across to Nashville and join it. Well, let us see what happens. And uh I leave everything to God. Okay. Well well that that's pretty good. Uh, uh we're getting ready to watch a video from you. It's called the crossroads. Uh is there a story behind that or is it pretty much self explanatory? Uh maybe you can tell us no, your... I wrote that uh, I wrote that song Crossroads Most of my songs are the tour. Mm -hmm. Most of my song deals with the common man or the lost man. A lot of people in this world lose their way and 
you know, you, you there are so many circumstances that comes in and comes into a person's life and changes them. So you find them the good, the bad, and the ugly. But I, I kind of write from experience, learning from them and observing them. So the crossroads is about a man, you know, if, whether he's come back and whether he'll be accepted. So that song I wrote myself, and I wrote a few lovely songs. I wrote one song for my mom and dad who are no more, and who are buried now where I'm in India. So I wrote a lovely song on that, and I wrote another song on Paula. Paula was the first lady I met in America when I came the first time in 2018. And I wrote that song for her. She was so sweet. You know? And uh, she was a very, 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 very lovely lady. So I told her I'd write a song for her. And uh, unfortunately, when I went back and Paula had left her job, I don't know where she is. But I hope one day she'll hear that song. I've written uh, quite a few love songs. Here. So basically, you know what's country. If you don't have love in country, you can't write the song. So hopefully, let's see, Paul. Let's see, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. This year, I didn't go. I didn't send an entry to Jossie's Award, or I didn't send an entry to the ISSA, International Singer Songwriters Association. But uh, one of the uh, one of my friends, not my friend actually, he has this, uh, uh, the Songwriters Association. That's my belief and I will die believing that. Okay. Um, well, we're going to go and watch that video in just a moment, but I want to thank you again, Bernard, for coming on the show. We'd love to have you back again sometime if you ever have anything to plug as usual. So we hope we'll see you then. Yeah, it's a pleasure, Paul, and thank you so much for adding me out on... Uh, because I've got uh, Phil on Black Dog Radio. He wants to interview me in the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. So things are happening. So I do hope and two stations from Australia are asking me to send in my uh, my country song. So well, let's let's see, Paul. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Well, let's go to Crossroads by Bernard Van Spall right here on Paul Mash TV. So don't go away. We'll be right back. I'm standing at the crossroads Which road will lead me to you? Is it east or west? I will never know I could catch a Greyhound bus Or hitch a ride to you The only thing that's on my mind is you Years have passed, days gone by It's been so long since I've seen you Those years we lived together was the best years of my life I don't know if you feel the same About us being together For in your heart You know I'm the cheating kind Cheating kind is someone Who cheats on his love Cheating kind is someone who breaks the heart that loves Even though we're many miles apart Our love was never strong Darling, if I came back, would you take me home? Separated 
separated by a distance Two hearts crying in silence to be loved If only wishes can come true I wish I was with you Take me home Darling, please take me home Cheating kind is someone who cheats on his love Cheating kind is someone who breaks the heart that loves Even though we are many miles apart Our love was never strong Darling, if I came back, would you take me home? Darling, if I came back, would you take me home?